welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be filming Trayton's four month update as well as my four month postpartum update. So as for Trayton, I'll try to do this in some kind of order. He is now currently about 16 pounds, um, so he hasn't gained that much weight in the last month. I think they gain steadily and then kind of, you know, taper off as the year goes on. Um, he turned four months last week. He loves to put things in his mouth. Everything goes in his mouth and he loves his fingers. He's constantly um, putting his fingers in his mouth and he usually falls asleep with his fingers in his mouth. That's kind of like his way to, or I guess, put himself to sleep. He doesn't like a pacifier. He's never taken one. I've tried like a bazillion times, but he just spits it out and doesn't want it. We've been trying to get him to take a bottle as well, but that has not been successful. He kind of just looks at me like, what are you doing? And um, I think that I just need to have more people try to do it and not me, um, because there will be a time that I want him to take a bottle because I have a half marathon coming up at the end of October. So by then, especially, I would really, really need him to be able to take a bottle. He likes to babble and talk with us. He loves to go on walks. That's probably one of his favorite things to do. And then, as for entertaining things, he's only entertained for a little bit, so that is why he is now over there playing with his bumbo, so we're all good with that. Um, as for being entertained, it's about 10 minutes in each place, pretty much. So in his activity mat, he'll be fine for 10, 15 minutes, his jumperoo. Uh, the Bumbo so far has been what he's happy in the most um, or the longest just because he can have some toys on his train. He can actually play with them. He's been reaching for things and grabbing and he's pretty spot on. He still sometimes will um, not quite get his hands together, but he almost always can grab something if he wants to. He started to get upset when I take things away. So that's just beginning. So I would take something away and he would start to cry. So I'm like, oh. That's beginning. As for sleep, I was nursing him to sleep for the longest time, but um, after a while it stopped working and he would just fight sleep and I would rock him and he'd cry and cry and cry. Um, so we decided to try the Ferber method where after five minutes um, you'd go in if he were still fussing. Um, and for us that just worked really well because he actually fell asleep pretty quick doing that for the most part. Um, in comparison to him crying for a long time when I was rocking him. So he's at a point where he just wanted to be in the crib. He found his fingers, so he would put them in his mouth and then he'd be quiet. And now it's almost like I put him down and he barely even cries. For the most part, there are a few days where that um, is a little more difficult. But the same thing for naps, he actually falls asleep way better for naps than he does at night. And he's over there laughing at me. Um, but at nap times, I barely even hear a peep. I put him down, I say goodnight, I love you. Um, I walk out of the room and then after a minute or two, he's sleeping. So it, that's been a big, big change because before he was fighting naps, getting overtired, and it was just kind of a cycle that wasn't sustainable. And he was not happy. He's been sleeping through the night since he was eight weeks. So as soon as he goes to sleep, he will sleep until about 8.30 or 9.30 every morning that's basically depending on when he went to bed that's he'll wake up at some point between there we're waiting till about six months to introduce foods um and i'm probably going to be videoing that because i would really like to start videoing um and putting videos up about once a week uh, that's my goal right now because my one of my favorite things to do is watch other moms on youtube so i thought that it would be really fun if i could do something similar um, as for me, four months postpartum, I'm feeling really good. I still have a two finger gap separation, ab separation, and I've been working with um, Julie from our Fit Family Life on Instagram, and it has been amazing. And I'll continue to do her program until I can get that gap to close. I resume running, and it's crazy how fast I was able to recover because during my pregnancy I had SPD, symphysis pubis dysfunction, where my pubic bone would not let me run like past 23 weeks. So I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, hi baby. I'll probably do a video on breastfeeding since there are a lot of things I can say about that. I've had clogged ducts, I've had mastitis, I've had good experiences, and a lot of bad experiences, but now it's finally starting to 
calm down and I am really enjoying it at this point. So I'll probably be doing a video about that since there's so much information that I can share with you. As for me, when I delivered Trayton, I had gained 38 pounds. So, so far I've lost 31 of those pounds. Um, but I haven't weighed myself for the last three weeks because I'm doing whole 30 and you're not supposed to weigh yourself. And so I haven't. I'm on day 22 of that. So by the end, I will weigh myself and see how much weight I've lost by that point. So as for my stomach, so we've got a little bit a little bit of a bump there, but not much. Um, in the last month, it's gone down a lot more. So I think just consistency and with the ab separation, it kind of makes my ab muscles cone out a little bit. So I've been really working on bringing that back together so that it can be flat. So my trick is I wear a lot of things that are tied or I tuck things in just so that you can't see my belly because on that. Well, thank you so much for watching. I plan on next week doing a Whole30 What I Eat in a Day um, as I'm doing Whole30 right now and I thought that that would be fun. So hopefully see you then.